Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing border runs in Thailand. Kind of a hot topic lately. I've, I've talked about border runs a lot lately because it's now possible again. Uh, two and a half years we've gone, and that has not been a viable option going back into March of 2020 when they shut down the borders, Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, and Malaysia. And it was not possible to do a true border run, run across a land border, you know, be checked into that country briefly, then check back out, check into Thailand, and gain new lawful status here in Thailand. But not everybody can avail themselves of border runs, even under the more relaxed rules. And I got to thinking of making this video from a recent article I read in the Patia Mail, patiamail.com. Article is titled, Immigration Police Detail Restrictions on Cambodian Visa Runs from Patia. And I urge those who are watching this video, go check out that article in detail. I'm going to quote an excerpt for purposes of discussing this in detail. But for those who are interested in this topic, a lot of great insight in that article. Quoting directly, a Thai immigration captain explained that most nationalities could take advantage of the visa run scheme, but there were 19 countries whose citizens could not get a new permission at any land border. Quoting further, the countries included China, India, several Central Asian quote-unquote stands, and a dozen states in Africa and the Indian Ocean. So for those who are looking to come into Thailand and thinking border running may be something that they may want to use or have in sort of their quiver as a viable option for maintaining long-term status in Thailand, it is a very good idea to ascertain whether or not your nationality can in fact avail themselves of a border run here in Thailand because if they can't, then it's probably a good idea to seriously <clears throat> consider getting a proper visa before leaving one's home country or whatever country one is originating from, getting a proper Thai visa, coming into Thailand on that proper Thai visa, be it, be it a tourist visa, non-immigrant visa, whatever, because those who come in on this visa on arrival program, we've noted in other videos, may have a problem. And then specific nationalities may not be able to do it at all. And for that reason, you may need to go ahead and deal with a non-immigrant visa in your home country, come back in, extend, and deal with it that way. So the thing to take away from this video, if you are from a country where you think you might have an issue being able to do a border run, check into it thoroughly and maybe try to look at the possibility of a non-immigrant visa if you want to stay in Thailand long term. For those that find this a bit overwhelming, it may not be a terrible idea to contact a legal professional, gain some insight and guidance into how best to proceed.